Hi, I'm Giles. I'm Megan. And, and we're, we're from, from Bitfendo.com. And this is Epic, Epic Journey, Journey Ireland. Ireland. So we're here in the Belfast uh, train station getting ready to go to Dublin. Unfortunately, the internet up here was a lot worse than I expected and so we said screw it, we're just going to head down to Dublin and uh, go check that city out. So um, I want to show you though our mobile office here. I think this is pretty funny. So that's my laptop. I've actually, I've got a epic journey video trying to upload but the upload speeds in this whole city are just terrible. Um, but uh, look, look at our mobile charging station. I think this is hilarious. We've got like <laughs> eight iPhones going, a pad, laptop. Uh, got my computer, got Nikki over here. What's wrong, babe? You sore? Yeah. Yeah? So we've got about a two or three hour ride to Dublin and we're gonna go check in to hopefully a pretty badass place and um, we'll pick up from there. Alright, so I'm going to go bar hunting. We're going to find the coolest bars in Dublin. Let's do this. It's day two in Dublin, and unfortunately, we couldn't get a badass um, flat real close downtown because of two reasons. There's a big like bike race. I guess it's the second only to Tour de France, and um, also apparently One Direction is playing this weekend. I'm trying to pretend I'm not a major fan, but I am. Ah, just kidding. Um, I just want to show you uh, Nikki's dedication. Oh, there she is. She I'm was sitting in the hallway uploading a video. Oh, uh, okay. By the router. Sometimes when you have less than favorable internet, this is what you have to do. You can see the routers right there in the hallway, and you you know you got to do what you got to do, as my Italian wife likes to say. Sorry, I got up. You were trying to catch me in the act. <laughs> so what are you doing? Um. Doing um, a watch list and trade review for Trader Formula. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I just so, posted it. So the markets have actually been really volatile lately, and so it's been uh, it's been a balance and a challenge to say the least to to try to be in front of the computer, and um, it's actually not bad. It's like when we're traveling, we always seem to get to where we're going like right before market opens. So we're gonna go head out, explore the city. See you in a minute. So we're waiting for our tour to start to go in the distillery for Jameson and uh, while we're waiting, Nikki ran inside because she always likes to check out the food situation and uh, yeah, I think it's just cool to chill and like people watch and you know, this is I guess part of the distillery. Closure on the inside. Oh, 
Pressure on the outside. Footsteps tap two. How was your tasting? It was really good. Oh, okay. So the lesson here is American whiskey sucks, Scotch, Scotch whiskey sucks, and Jameson is where it's at. Is that so? That's the lesson. All right, good <laughs> to know. I don't know 100%, but Jameson is really good, but I still love my jacket. Okay. Okay, here we are at the Guinness Storehouse, which is the, uh, I guess, the biggest brewery in the world for Guinness. Where they make burr. Where they make burr. I just want to jump in it. Just swim in barley grains. And if you've opened your own little sample just like this, just two things before you get it. Uh, number one is the colour of the beer. So when you catch the light correctly, you see it's actually a ruby red colour. It's not black, which is cold. It's a very dark red, but it is red. The colour is all natural. It comes with the roasted barley. And then finally, temperature. You'll see some condensation on the glass. There is an old rumour that we can soon give us more. We don't. Draft Guinness appeared in 1959. The refrigeration already in place, so it's always been served chilled. It served at 6 degrees Celsius, 42 Fahrenheit. So we recommend that as an optimum temperature to taste our beer. 200 calories in that pint. It's funny that that's where your mind goes. <laughs> yeah. 200 calories, that's like a snack. It is a snack, it's a delicious snack. All right, so we decided to stay in Dublin for an extra week because the city is really cool. And we just booked this hotel that's uh, over one of the main streets here. And they're actually getting ready uh, to host, well, the race is on. It's like the, the second biggest uh, bike bicycle race in the world, second only to Tour de France. But I guess uh, a lot of the riders are the same ones, and they're going to be coming through Dublin uh, right downtown here pretty soon. So that'll be pretty cool. All right, they're coming into Dublin, five kilometers to go. And the people are starting to really line up out here. Cots clearing the way. <laughs> Woo! What you doing? Getting ready. They're almost here. This is so cool. I don't even watch my grades. The Giro di Italiana. Giro di Italiana. Over the Liffey, over the bridge. Over the Liffey, we are. Two wide coming out of Cannondale of Monson. Yeah, this is the go over the Liffey. It's a double turn, and that must have hurt That's some. Right, they needed all the team. One kilo to go. Here they are. And just like that, it's over. Really, really cool experience. Here we are at Blair Castle and Gardens. We have to run into Mickey's favorite bird. This is where they had balls. <laughs> Look at 